All right, Mr. Elvis, we're here at uh, Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, gonna do this walk around on this uh, 2017 Chevy 2500 HD Z71 gas truck. I'm gonna do this walk around for the second time. The first one would not, I could not get it to upload, so I'm uh, gonna try it again. But uh, I've walked around it several, several times now. I don't have a whole lot to point out. Uh, it's got the uh, Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires that are brand new. They got 100% tread. You can even see they're picking up some rocks. Uh, that's how good the tread is. Uh, so brand new. The rims are all in great shape. We can walk down this uh, driver's side here. Just look for any dings or scratches at all. Very, very clean. I did find one. I'm going to have to... There it is, right there. And it's been touched up perfectly. The paint matches. Um, so it looks like a rock maybe got up there and a little rock peck there. But that's me being really picky with the used truck. Obviously, uh, with it being used, we don't expect them to be perfect. But uh, this thing is really, really close. Uh, no hail damage, anything like that on the hood. Just a little dust. That chrome grill looks in great shape. And down the passenger side, running boards are firm. One thing on the back side of the passenger side, let's see if I can get it right here, is a little bit of a ding there going down through there. And then there's a smaller one, about the size of a dime, right underneath that. But again, that's me being really picky. I'm not sure if you're catching those on the camera or not. Rest of the passenger side, looking right down the body line, looks really, really good. Back bumper's in great shape. Bed's got some light scratching in it, and you can see the cutout there for the BMW, BMW turnover ball, the gooseneck hitch there. Uh, but yeah, so we see the beds of these trucks with craters in them or big gashes where like you're starting to see rust or something like that. And nothing here, just the light scratching right on the surface level. Kind of a clean slate for you to do a drop-in bed liner or a spray-in bed liner. Either one. I realize the sun is taking up a lot of my view there, so I try to get it. To zoom in a little better. Uh, tailgate is in great shape. Back bumper, really nice. And now we're back around to the driver's side. I'll do a quick look underneath. Just look at that main frame line there for you. Very, very clean. Not seeing signs of excessive rust or corrosion all the way through. Really good. Before we do the inside, we'll take a quick look under the hood. If I can get this pop with one, one arm here. All right, it's whisper quiet, no knocking or ticking, and extremely clean. You can look through all the connections there. I always tell people, I don't know an alternator from a radiator, but looking through the inside, I can spot signs of excessive corrosion or rust and uh, got nothing here. All the connections look great. Detail is really well taken care of. We'll go to the inside here. No rips or tears in the seat. If there were to be a rip or a tear, that's normally the spot you'd see it. It's back seat, plenty of room. And it's got the nice floor mats all the way around. You see a little bit of discoloring in the middle of the seat there where you can tell it's been used, but uh, the cloth is firm. That's me being real picky. Uh, no stains in the headliner. Like I said, it's got the nice floor mats all the way around. And let's jump in here and get some of these buttons. Uh, the air is nice and cold right into the sun now but you'll see how responsive this is some audio settings there the phone connection uh, obviously you can get text messages on it go through the settings really nice that display is great as well 60,000 miles on it um, that's actually gonna let it qualify for one of our uh, factory type total care extended warranty coverages which is clutch because it's no deductible parts and labor both included see that kick plate there is in great shape as well we see that really scuffed up on a lot of trucks uh, so yeah that 
60,000 miles, that means it'll qualify for a factory type total care. They would stretch it all the way out to 120,000 miles. And it's the overwhelming majority of that bumper to bumper coverage. You can take it to any certified mechanic to get the work done. And uh, it's parts and labor, no deductible uh, nationwide coverage. I'm a big, big fan of that. I've actually bought it three times myself and I'm not typically a warranty guy. Uh, so I love it. Apologies for the shakiness of the video, but trying to walk around and get you a good view of it. This thing is really, really nice. I don't have much, uh, much to complain about, much to point out at all. Let me know what other questions you have.